Is all lost for the No Trident Replacement Campaign now that Parliament has voted to replace Trident? Absolutely not. We were very pleased with the outcome in Parliament, although obviously the government won its vote. The scale of rebellion against Trident Replacement was absolutely huge. It was the largest rebellion, backbench rebellion, since Labour came to power in 1997 on a domestic issue, and it was the largest rebellion on a defence policy since Labour first came into government in 1924. So by any reckoning, it was a historic scale of opposition. And as far as we know, as far as we are concerned from opinion polls and so on, from what we know about the extent of opposition, that was just the tip of the iceberg in terms of British views today on nuclear weapons. So there's a big majority out there against replacing Trident and we will now be building upon that. We feel very optimistic, we have many new allies in the struggle against nuclear weapons and we're going to be working together with them to get this de decision reversed. Even during the debate Mrs Beckett, the Foreign Secretary, said this decision is not irreversible and there's pressure now on the government from the MPs, from the Defence Committee and so on to get further discussions on the issue and to get further votes before any further stages in the process are taken. So it's a positive outcome for us and we see it as the first step on the way to nuclear abolition. And what, in specific, uh, what should people expect from CND's campaign over the next few months? Well, really, we've got um, a couple of focuses here. First of all, obviously, to get uh, discussing with our partners in the anti-nuclear movement and all our allies across the field, including the trade unions, faith communities, get talking together to plan a detailed strategy. That process is already underway. We have a strategy conference coming up in London on May the 19th. Um, but also, we're putting a lot of pressure now on the government to take multilateral initiatives. The government claims to be in favour of multilateral disarmament. In the motion which was put to Parliament on March the 14th, the government referred to advancing its NPT commitments to disarm. We want to know now from the government what is it actually doing in that regard. The Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty has a conference in Vienna in May to discuss these very issues and we want to know from our government what proposals are they putting to the NPT conference in Vienna in May to advance multilateral disarmament. It's a huge demand nationally and globally for nuclear disarmament and we want to see our government taking steps in that direction.